Davey D hanging out with you this afternoon and we are talking about the hearings and uh, for many people who uh, hopefully will be the next Supreme Court judge, we're talking about Sonia Sotomayor. Uh, we wanted to talk to a number of people throughout the community, um, especially Latinas, um, elders and younger, to get their perspective on the, what many people are seeing as maybe a historic occasion. And one of the elders in the community that we wanted to talk to is uh, Susana, what's your last name? Almanza. Susana Almanza. She is with Poder, um, but you're somebody who's been involved in social justice work for a very long time, former Brown Beret, among other things, and here in the state of Texas, where I'm at right now. I wanted to talk to you for those three reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, your initial um, feelings on uh, justice, or hopefully Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor. Well, I think it's a long overdue. For over 200 years, we've been white male dominated, and I think it's long overdue to have a diversity in the Supreme Court. And with Sonia Sotomayor being the first uh, Latina being there, I think it's it's a beginning. Is there anything that you're looking for with her um, that that allows you to connect further? You know, either just because she's a woman. Um, Latina, it doesn't make a difference that you're Mexican and she's Puerto Rican. Are there any difference in that geographical location, New York and, you know, Texas here in the South? Well, I look for more of a balance. Like I said, with over 200 years being white male dominated, uh, we've come to the time that we've been told by our elders that we have to create a balance all over the world. And the United States needs to do that too. When we talk about the judicial and we talk about a jury of our peers, we know that's not true when we go to the Supreme Court. There is not a jury of our peers if all we see is white and even white women. I think that we've got to have that balance where we have Latinas, where we have Asians and African American. It's long overdue, I think, that Obama has taken a real step in that destiny, in that path. Uh, that the elders have said it's time to bring a balance to everything and definitely a balance is needed in the Supreme Court and when I look at Sonia Santamayor she has a lot of those uh, experiences that are very much needed if you come from a wealthy background have never ever struggled doesn't don't know what it is to struggle it's hard for you to have an understanding of not just the law but how you interpret the law for those dear, different experiences and her background coming from, you know, a poor working class community, uh, losing her father very young, you know, having to struggle in the education system to get at places. And, and then her experience all across, I think, beats all of the ones in, in her appellate court or circuit court experience, her being, uh, you know, in a law firm, her being a prosecutor, her being a judge. You know, I don't think that there's too much to argue with there in that particular aspect. You know, one of the sticking points that they're raising up is her uh, speech that she gave a few years ago at, um, I think it was Bolt a Hall in uh, California to the law students there, where she talked about um, being a Latina allowed her to have a better interpretation of the law um, compared to her white counterparts. And they were taking umbrage with it because they say the law is supposed to be blind and yada, yada, yada. Your thoughts on that? I know you kind of touched upon that, but more specifically. Yeah, well, we all know that the law is not blind. You have certain things that you guide you, but then again, you also have interpretation of what that law particularly says. And I think in her bringing up diversity and the need is something that's long overdue. I think that we should, you know, challenge and support that, that there should be diversity. You know, I think that the people who claim, oh, she brought up diversity is because they've been so used to having, you know, the white dominance and the white dominance of their interpretation. Uh, if we look at a lot of their documents, we probably would be feeling uh, more about, you you know, of things that they have said in the past, but I think uh, now when it's kind of turned and we have, you know, a Latina talking about diversity, all, all of a sudden it's like this taboo issue, but in reality it's an issue um, that people have been talking about a long time and even Obama talks about diversity and I think that's one of the reasons he made those choices.